Hey, Ede. Hey, Chris. Nice to see you once again. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Oh, I survived my last test drive with you, so I guess I'm fine. <laughs> Now, you're the guy to talk to when it comes to driving excitement. What can you tell us about this new, fresh little racer we have here? Of course. Well, first of all, the Mini is still a Mini with its Mini typical go-kart feeling. And it's got a new, brand new multi-link rear axle, which enables you to stay on track on tight corners and also enables you to go through bumpy roads with best possible traction on the track. Okay, now that sounds good, but I think we need to give the viewers out there a little demonstration. So um, let's go get into the car because we have an idea. We came up with something special. We thought, you know what, it'd be cool if we could invite some genuine Mini fans and take them on an exclusive trip and just to give them, you know, the first taste and the first feel of this new driving excitement. And remember the way you almost gave me a heart attack during the last test drive? I want you to scare them just like that, okay? Let's go. Let's go for it. Das hier mit dem Lenkrad ist sehr gut verarbeitet hier, das gefällt mir alles viel besser vom Design her. Was ich so richtig geil finde, sind die ganzen neuen Features. Angefangen vom Start- und Stoppknopf, auf jeden Fall innen drin eine deutliche Steigerung. Begeistert, gefällt mir sehr gut. Wirklich gelungen, tolle Proportionen, super. So, Ida, what did you guys do with the sound? It sounds fantastic. Well, we've done a lot about insulation, motor and body construction to reduce interference and bring down the engine noise level. So what you get is this crispy, sporty feeling, which we are just experiencing. Let's go. Uh, Ada, I gotta tell you, this is a lot of fun, but still it does feel different to the predecessor. What's new? Well, there's a lot of things new in that car. It's starting off with really new engine, twin power turbo technology, which is a package of the best three parts you can have. Okay. For the petrol ones and for the diesel ones. Better efficiency, more performance. Right. And actually, that car has an adaptive suspension. That is pretty unique in that car segment. The adaptive suspension, you know, it's like skiing on a ski slope. If okay. it's flat, you can stiffen it up and harden it right. for high speeds. If it's a bit bumpy, you know, it just ju adapts the damping forces right. to keep all feet on the ground. Cool. What about the gear shift? The six-speed automatic gearbox is a complete new one. Okay. Actually, we kept it with the six speeds because that perfectly fits to the Mini's character. A lot of new functions have been implemented. Now, Ida, uh, not everybody's a roadrunner like you are. What if I want to take it a bit easier, just take it a bit slower? I'm sure the handling of the new Mini is just as good and just as comfortable as if I were going fast, right? All right. We introduce a new Mini driving excitement switch down the gear lever here. Ah, look at that. And that enables you to give the Mini three different driving modes. Okay. So that means my driving excitement is now individually adjustable. Huh? Right. You're starting off in mid-mode, which makes a good balance between a typical and mini feeling in every case. But put it on to the left, you can engage the sport mode, which means your mini gets more precise, more agile, which gives it a more sportier handling. That's what you like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to take it a bit easier, you can switch on the green mode, okay. which is focusing on fuel efficiency, 
and uh, a balance between comfortable and very efficient ride. Right. There's a new function implemented, which is called sailing mode. Sailing. Yes, I was. Hey, I was just <laughs> sorry. Tell you about sailing mode, which okay. is with the automatic gearbox. If you take your foot off the gas, you get into a trailing throttle situation. Okay. So the gearbox is disengaged, and we are using the rolling energy of the vehicle. For best f and ultimate fuel efficiency. Okay, okay. Sailing, I was, I was somewhere completely different. I'm sorry. So, Mini continues its great tradition in being efficient and being eco-friendly. But what about the other tradition? Talking about safety. Well, Mini comes with uh, a lot of enhanced uh, active and pass passive safety standards. Well, the body is, uh, again increased in its rigidity, mm -hmm. which is good for passive safety. But there's a whole fleet of new driving assistance systems for active safety. For example, the brand new head-up display. Look at this. Showing you the navigational error uh, directly on the road. And also the speed um, is shown in the head-up display. That's and cool. the camera up there can even monitor and read road signs in some parts of the world. And the speed limit is also shown you for, well, keeping you safe on the road. So you've really thought of everything here. Right. Another one is the city collision mitigation. It's down here. What does that do? If you're too close to another car in front of you, maybe reading your SMSs or something like that. I don't do that. <laughs> that car <laughs> warns you and even um, starting to break off initially uh, to avoid maybe or to reduce a collision with other vehicles. So the car actually acts proactively. Correct. In certain speeds. Cool. That's awesome. The very last one which makes life more comfortable is the really brand new park assistant. What's, what does it do? Well, actually, it's just hands off and the vehicle almost parks itself. Well, actually, it does all the steering and you just controlling the vehicle with your brake and your accelerator. So, more convenience, more comfort. I mean, you guys really thought of everything, huh? Thumbs up. Now, to sum it all up, the new Mini not only evolved with its highly emotional design, but it also comes with new clever functionality, such as the expandable trunk space or new leading connectivity, thanks to the center instrument here with Mini Connected. Now, the new Mini also takes driving excitement further in a sustainable way. All in all, an impressive new step for Mini. So, Ida, thank you very much for your time, and thank you guys for watching. See you again next time. Uh, Chris, um don't you think we should tell them also about the new 5-door Mini? <laughs> Ida, you know what? Let's save some surprises for the next time. So for now, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>